we all find meaning in our lives in different ways. And in different places. Then number seven, Jason Grenauer has tonight's story from Colorado Springs. Come back up, set your hands. What's the first thing that comes to mind when you see this? Everyone thinks that we are all just exotic dancers. I'm gonna climb. Or this. Hang first. People think that we come in here and we're all just like taking off our clothes. And we're when in reality. It is a full body workout with one leg bent, one leg straight. Beautiful ladies. You are lifting your full body weight up off the ground multiple times throughout the entire class. Look at you, close up. Oh. Those who teach and take classes here at Pole Revolution say they're used to snap judgments. We've known of teachers that have gotten fired just from participating in pole classes because it's not a good look. They meet those negative perceptions, that stigma with acceptance. It doesn't matter your body type. You can be tall, short, big, small. Um, it works for everybody. Everybody, including Diane Martin. So I took that intro lesson and I was just in love immediately. She started taking pole sport classes. Well, vertical gymnastics, basically. Knowing she wasn't like everyone else at the studio. I was like, 20 years older than most of my fellow students. Sure, her age set her apart, but the thing that made her stand out most was her profession. I am assistant pastor at Pikes Peak Metropolitan Community Church, which is an um, open and affirming church here in Colorado Springs. Good morning, Pikes Peak MCC. Pastor Martin started doing pole workouts 11 years ago. And it was uh, a healthy way, a healthy approach to uh, to healing from the stresses of ministry. The reaction from her church at the time? I have been called a harlot. Some of them actually asked me to take the magnets off the side of my car when I pulled into town so that I could keep it hidden. Martin pushed through that stigma. Not only did she change churches, she decided to buy the pole studio. God didn't uncall me to the ministry when I discovered pole. In your many names we pray. Amen. At my current church, they are thrilled. They're, they're proud of it and they love it. The pole dancing pastor pushing past others' perceptions. Pole allows a level of self-expression that is hard to find in day-to-day -day life. Really, it just goes to show that anybody in the community can be part of a Pulse studio. Krista Moss bought the studio a few years ago, but kept Diane on as an instructor. Basic. As their sport looks to break down its own barriers. There's no way. We are actually in the observation period for an Olympic event. So it, we could potentially have Pulse sport in the Olympics in 2024. And if you don't think this is Olympic worthy. Outside, inside, outside, inside. Or this isn't what a pastor looks like. All right, should I try a layback? Diane has a routine to show you. This is working all right. They come with preconceived ideas of what someone who does pole is. They come with preconceived ideas of what a pastor is like and it kind of explodes both of those ideas and gets them to maybe look at things a little bit different way. In Colorado Springs, I'm Jason Grenauer. Well, I'm trying. Denver 7.